game, huh? It was fun. Um, good environment, good teams playing. Uh, this is what March basketball is supposed to look like. I'm glad that we did our part. Really proud of our guys, man. Made plays. Uh, you know, sometimes you win games when the other team doesn't play particularly well. Sometimes you win games when you just play above your level. Uh, today, I didn't think either of those were the case. I thought La Tech played really well. Kenny Lofton Jr., man, I hope I never see him again. Wow, what a good player he is. And it's just no answer. You know, he's so big and he's so strong. And I thought Trey did a tremendous job, and the kid still goes for 20 and 10. But we had a number of guys step up. You know, the two guys that – we had three seniors. Obviously, I've, I've talked about Justin Brown, and, you know, he's been here one year, and he certainly contributed, and we appreciate him being a part of our program. But Quan and Mike are special, and they will always be special to me here because when, when, when I got the opportunity to come back to my alma mater, uh, they were the first two guys that said they wanted to come with me. And this was COVID. I never even met them before they were on our team. It took some courage on their part, some belief, and uh, I'm glad to see those guys. 22 wins last year, 24 and counting this year, 27 total wins in conference play in the regular season, pretty outstanding. And uh, both of those guys were, were huge today, and I was so happy to see it on their senior day. What's been the change with uh, Mike? Obviously, we've seen him, you know, be on and off a little bit this season. But these past two games, I mean, he has just been lights out from that three You know what they say, Evan? Confidence is like cash. you got to have some to get some. Um, and Mike, when he made those six threes against Southern Miss, well, he came out today, he was not hesitating. Usually i got to say, Mike, shot ready, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. I did not have to say that one time today. Why? Because he made six threes um, against Southern Mississippi. So he got hot for us last year in Frisco. He's now coming off two games where he's made a combined 11 threes. I think he was six for eight and five for 10. My math's not great, but that's 11 for 18. Pretty good rhythm heading into the conference tournament. So after that loss at, or here against North Texas, you guys really kind of uh, finished out the season the way you wanted to. So what, what's that do going into the conference tournament? Well, we felt like we gave away an opportunity against an outstanding team in North Texas uh, who is really – found a way to win a lot of close games. And we made some um, mistakes based on situational awareness and put ourselves in a position for a great player to make a great play. And that's what happened, we lose. Our guys were certainly disappointed about it, but they didn't hang their heads. We knew that, okay, um, that is behind us. There's no need to dwell over it. Self-pity does no good. Let's let's move forward. And so we go to UTSA and we grind it out a, uh, an ugly win. Then we go to UTEP and had a huge win. And then we close it out against Southern Miss. So now we come home with some momentum. We took advantage of that by playing outstanding today against a really good team. How do you guys feel going into the conference tournament? Our guys feel great. You know, we don't have to play till Thursday night. We play at, um, I think, at 8:30. It's about the time Evan gets up, right? You know, I mean, it'll be perfect for you. Um, we'll, we'll we play late. I, I don't really like that. It's a long time just to kind of wait idly. But honestly, uh, 8:30 at night is probably when our guys' energy level is about as good as it gets. Quite, if you want to be honest. Um, and we got to win three games in three days in order to, to, to make it to our ultimate tournament. And I, th I certainly think we're capable. Obviously, you saw, talked about uh, Lofton, just, you know, he's able to get his almost any other game. But uh, just looking at today, Trey never backed down from him. He was always in his face. And uh, just, you know, talk about that battle between those two. Because, uh, uh, I mean, Trey really, even though, you know, Lofton got his, it seems like Trey really almost kind of won today. Yeah, you know, the kid goes for 20 and 10, and I agree with you. I, th I thought Trey was outstanding. Trey goes for 16 and 9, 8 for 9 from the field, body blow for body blow. The kid is so big and he's so strong. He's got great hands. He has a really good basketball IQ. He works angles well, and I, and I think um, Louisiana Tech has done a good job with their roster structure in that they play four shooters around him. So it's hard to give help. We were trying to give some help sometimes, and he's an outstanding passer. He leads their team in assists, believe it or not. And, um, and he finds the open guy, and they're, and they're a good three-point shooting team. But really, really proud of Trey's effort. Battled, battled, battled. Um, and even though you know we had a little hiccup at the end versus pressure, we never flinched, finished the game on a, on a positive note. Uh, I'll say it just it feels pretty different than a normal, you know, college athlete because you know, I've been here for in college for six years, so I've been had the you know the bittersweet moments. So this tonight was just another game for me. And just talk about uh, you know obviously this is a big game for you guys. Uh, just talk about kind of getting into that uh, that second half and able to kind of push the lead a little bit and kind of really take control of this game. Yeah, like we we knew we had we needed momentum coming into this game and to win this game going to the tournament. So. Second half, we talked about how we can defend better and how we can help each other out uh, on both ends of the floor, and, and that kind of sparked us up in the second half. One last question for Kwan. I like her. How does it feel to have your mom's birthday and you play for the mom's? Um, that's 
it was a great feeling. That's how I knew um, I was meant to come to UAB just for like, like times like this. My senior night and my mom's birthday, yeah, it was number guy right there. So it felt amazing. What was it about Coach Cannon that got you here? He said you all kind of committed. When oh, well, well I, I came here because of number two over there. He the one that brought me in. So, I, so we used to play against each other in the Sun Belt all the time. And uh, we, we, we talked it up a little bit. And, I, and he was telling me he was going to UAB. And I was like, it might be cool, you know, have a partner like that. Come to, to to come to UAB with him and it worked out in my favor, so I'm, I thank him. Yeah, I mean I think it starts with what my coaches tell me. Um, you know they just want me to shoot it every single time I'm open and I have a good look, so that's what I do. And um, you know they're starting to fall now, so um, you know it's really credit to him. Even when I'm not shooting well, he still tells me shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. So I mean it's just what I'm doing. So talk about coach. You know what? You know just kind of elaborate more. What Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so obviously we played in the Sun Belt together all the time. I probably played Georgia Southern more than anybody because they actually beat us twice in the Sun Belt tournament. Kwan did. So, uh, so I knew how good of a player he was and I knew how he could impact the game. So um, we both put our names in the portal for different reasons. And then, um, you know, I, I told him I was, so obviously I called him, I got his number and um, told him I was coming to UAB. And I think it would be a good thing for both of us, you know, because at the time I only thought we had one year, you know, because we're both super seniors. And, uh, you know, so I just thought, you know, we got one year left. Um, I like Coach Kennedy. Obviously, Coach Cross, me and Coach Cross are like family. And, you know, just make a run at this thing uh, for one year. And, you know, obviously we tried. He kind of uh, wasn't his self last year because the, the injury, you know, but now obviously he's back. He's a great player. Um, and, you know, in this, I was, our, extra COVID year, uh, you know, we're going to try it again. So. How cool is that to, you know, have a guy that you played against, kind of a, you know, an enemy becomes a frenemy and now a teammate, you know, just how cool is that to kind of play against him for so long and then, you know, end your career with him as a teammate? Yeah, it's cool. Um, and, you know, I, I uh, the interesting thing about Quan was that we would talk all the time on, on the court um, after games. We would, because we were kind of came up together. So uh, we were both, you know, all Sunbelt Belt type player so we would talk after the games and um, so I knew he was a really good dude and uh, obviously then we came to UAB um, and I didn't really realize how great of a guy he actually was I mean Quan Jackson is like a amazing person and uh, and uh, you know so um, I'm really glad you know I came here and obviously I'm really glad Quan came came along so uh, tonight was just about being solid man um, I came in there with the mindset of just playing my best basketball and that's what I did tonight I wanted to have fun and just was solid the whole entire night It's major, you know what I'm saying? We also know Texas on the buzzer beater, which hurt a lot, but winning four straight going to Frisco feels amazing. So, next week should be pretty good.